When I traveled in India in 2010, I bought the book Ramayana, which is the most famous tale for Indian people. The story was so old and at the same time so modern, it was telling a lot about contemporary India. If you travel to India, you see pictures of the Ramayana. It's everywhere. The Ramayana takes place in real locations. There is a trail you can follow from the north of the country to the south. And Indian people do that. It builds a connection to the land. It's not only fiction, it's grounded in the real India. And then as a photographer, the question was, how do you approach photography-wise a story which is not a fiction and which is not real? From there on, I decided to ask the local people to play for me scenes of the Ramayana. And this is where the project shifted. I'm not working as a film director in the sense that I leave them a lot of space to express themselves. What is your favorite characters? Is there a scene you would like to play for me, for the camera? I took a picture of a young couple and they were not married, but they really wanted to do it, but we had to hide. I met a lot of young couples which were in that situation. Maybe you're not from the same caste. Maybe your parents don't even want you to get married. So it's very interesting to work with young people and to give them a space that they don't have in their everyday life. When photography was brought to India by the English, the bourgeoisie had the choice of having their portraits hand-painted by a local painter. These painters, a very few of them are still in activity, so the tradition is dying because obviously color film and digital now is available everywhere. So these painters, they don't have work anymore. And I thought it it would be very interesting to build a collaboration with a painter in India and to give him black and white prints so that he hand paint over them. So the painter is not with me when I'm shooting the pictures. He doesn't know the colors of the clothes people were wearing or if the sky was pinky or blue. It should be like Slightly off, color-wise, but still close to the realities, so that people wonder where they are. When I started the project, we came up with this idea of doing seven books, because the Ramayana is divided into seven chapters. And we had this idea of not waiting for the project to end in two or three or four years, but to publish book at the same time I was working. The idea was to propose to the readers to travel in India at the same time that I was traveling. I realized photography can be very different things. It can be photojournalism, it can be fiction, it can be something in the middle. In that sense, to me, photography is not about truth or false. It's more about what, as an artist, you wish to create. There is no rules whatsoever. It's great to wake up every morning not knowing what the journey will be. There is a lot to explore. <laughs>